Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games, back with another cool arcade game video for you today. We got a real classic here. This is obviously 1979's Galaxian arcade game. It was designed, it was uh, uh, engineered, they say, by Namco, but Midway actually made the arcade, uh, the cabinet and the game board and all the electronics. So, Midway's Galaxian. There was also a Namco version, though. And this is the cocktail table, obviously. It's for cocktails, people. It's not for beers. No, no, no. Cocktails. That's that's more classy, right? Do you hear something in the background? Can you hear that? We'll have to go check that out in a minute. But this is Galaxian, which is the very first uh, Galaga game. So Galaga was the sequel to Galaxian. And like I said, this came out in 1979. It was also known as the very first fully full-color game, they claim. They, apparently there were some before Galaxian that parts of the screen were in color, but this is the first one that was all color. So let's check it out. It, it's got the same style of cabinet uh, that Pac-Man had. Pac-Man, much more famous, but Galaxian was no slouch, people. Tons of people paid, played Galaxian. As a matter of fact, when I was a kid, my dad used to tell me that he used to play Galaxian all the time at the West Lane Bowling Alley on Patrick Street in Charleston, West Virginia. So if there's anybody listening, from Charleston, West Virginia. Do you remember playing Galaxian at the West Lane Bowling Alley? I mean, the West Side Bowling Alley, I'm sorry. The West Side Bowling Alley on Patrick Street about 1979. Yeah, I don't think they had the cocktail, though. He always talked about the upright, so I think they had the upright one. But if you, if you do remember that, leave a comment below. That'd be kind of neat. You hear something? I can hear something back in the back of the building. We'll have to go check that out. So anyway, uh, one of the cool things about this was, you know, th this wasn't too far after they started putting joysticks on cabinets. Like before this, most of the games just had buttons. So um, the upright did have a joystick, like Space Invaders, for instance. Space Invaders came out in 78 and just had buttons. There's no joystick. Uh, and you could just go left and right. Well, when Galaxian came out on the on the uh, upright version, there was a little joystick that only went left and right. Well, when they made the cocktail cabinet, I suppose because the uh, there's not as much room there because you've got the glass, just the design of the cabinet. Um, they put this little lever on it. Look at this. You push this way and go left. Push that way and go right. So when you're playing, you just do this instead of actually having a, a knob. But it, it works perfect for what it is, you know, because you just need to move left and right. So it works perfect for that. They also, uh, of course, designed the cabinet with these little, there's little light bulbs behind there. And so in the dark, you can see the text on the control panel to tell you how to play in case you're in, you know, say, a dark bowling alley or something. Um, of course, there's just one fire button. There's two start buttons. And it says 1979 Midway Manufacturing Company. Very cool. This is running the original board. Um, this is running the original power supply, which is transformers like in Pac-Man. Uh, pretty much everything on this cabinet is original. This is the original control panel overlays. You can see a little bit of wear there and a little bit of melted area that probably done with a cigarette back in the day. Um, hopefully it'll stay like this, but the top, unfortunately, was too worn, so we had to put a new top on it. So I'll show you the old one, though. We got it right here. So this is the original glass top for it. And you can see that it was all scratched up at some point. Someone repainted the back of it black to try to hide all of the scratches in it. It did make it look better, but it uh, it's not perfect, folks. Uh, mainly you get, I don't know if I can show. 
but mainly you get scratches all over the, the actual glass itself. Hard to show that, but there are scratches all over this thing. So, people, I don't mind a little wear on them, but people usually aren't all right with on a cocktail cabinet and having scratches on everything. So, we'll save this glass though and sell it to somebody to put on there, um, put hang up on the wall or something, or make a picture frame out of it or something. But you can see on it, it says instructions. <laughs> Insert coin. Select one or two players. Control lever moves offensive, uh, moves defense ship right or left. To fire a missile, press button. Attacking alien ships scores higher than ships in convoy. Attacking alien ships scores higher than ships in convoy. So I think what they're saying is alien, they're saying something out away from the other one. Yeah, see it says attacking. So scoring, you get 30 points for the green one. But it's not really green, it's blue in the game. Uh, and you get 60 if it's attacking. You get 40 points for the purple one and 80 if it's attacking. You get 50 points for the red one and 100 if it's attacking. And then that mothership there, you get 60 points or if it's attacking, question mark. So this was the, fir this was the beginning of what became Galaga. Now, we, like I said, we put a new top on it. So the way you do that is... Um, the original ones were like that, they were painted, but they make uh, these underlays, so it's like a, a few years later, Midway started making little, uh, uh, like I guess it's like styrene or something like that, little sheets that go under a clear piece of glass so that you could update some of the older machines um, and kit it into a new game, stuff like that. But uh, whenever they make reproductions, they often make that piece of paper basically that goes under there with all the art on it and then you put a brand new uh, clear piece of glass on the top so that's what we have done because as far as I'm aware nobody makes the actual painted ones this the one that we got though I'm usually not a stickler on this kind of stuff on a reproduction if the art's not exactly the same as the original it doesn't really bother me that much I just I'm not really all that um, concerned about that but on this particular one it's a little bit off. Um, the main thing is, see how the that uh, the color there is like a pinkish purple, right? The whole thing is that is nothing even similar to the original one, which was red. I mean, straight up red. The green, the green and the blue are real similar. The yellow is real similar, but the red is like a pink almost on the reproduction top um, so they, they probably whenever they made it they only had a real faded one uh, to make a copy of and they just didn't under, didn't realize that it was supposed to be red and then also if you look at the there's a whole thing going on with these bugs so it's green purple red and then the the ship is yellow and then see how the bottom of it's red right so on these it's green and it's pretty much exactly the same. The purple, though, isn't purple. And then the one that's supposed to be red is that pink. And then the ship, the bottom of it is supposed to be red, is that weird pink color, too. So for whatever reason, they just made everything that was supposed to be red pink. So they must have had one that was just all the red had faded off of it whenever they touched up the art. Um, but hopefully in the future, somebody will make that where they can get that pink color, just a, a, a darker red on everything. It could be, too, that there were different versions of the glass. It could be that the thing sold so well that there were some that were pink. They were just printed from a different company, and they used a different color, but I don't know. Um, it looks good. Like, like I said, I'm not really a, you know, a stickler for that kind of stuff, but it's, it's off pretty bad. I mean, it's, it's not even close to red, but most people would not even know but I know because I just happen to have the original one right there. It's real easy for me to tell that it's the colors on. All right, so uh, let's, uh, I'll set up a tripod and we'll play it. Oh, wait a minute, I kept hearing something in the back. Let's go see, what have we, something keeps calling for us here in the back.
Check that out. We've got a 1981 Galaga. So this was the sequel to Galaxian. Had a little bit more going on. The uh, the bugs moved a little more smoothly, a little faster paced. You could it could capture your ship. So the the sequel to Galaxian, of course, Gal Galaga. One of the biggest games of all time. Definitely top five. Easy. Maybe. I mean, you can't. I don't think you can say it was bigger than Pac Man and Miss Pac Man, but. Uh, it was probably bigger than Donkey Kong, and that's saying a lot. You know? So, this game we're about to play is the granddaddy of this one. You know? So, the first one was Galaxian. The second one was Galaga. And the third one was Gapless. And by the time they did that, everybody was like. What the hell is Gapless? So they actually sent out kits to change the name to Galaga 3. Which is weird, because there was no Galaga 2. But Galaga was kind of Galaxian 2. So they've got it all kind of out of whack with that. But I just call them Galaxian, Galaga, and Gapless. So let's go play, let's go play Galaxian. All right, so it says push start button. Bonus Galaxip for 5,000 points. Free play. And by the way, just to just to uh, completely utilize the cabinet, I've got my my uh, cocktail beverage here, Diet Coke. We'll sit this here. <laughs> Let me see, how can I get that in the shot? So you're going that way. Yeah, you should be able to see it there, right? Can you see it? All right, it says bonus Galaxip for 5,000 points. Now, I'm not an expert on this game. I don't, I've rarely played it, so I'm not going to get like the world's greatest score or anything. So if you're looking for that, you're going to have to find another video. But we're going to play through it a little bit as if we were just sitting down at it for the first time in 1979. Now, my dad claimed that he used to beat the hell out of everybody on Galaxian at the West Side Bowling Alley on Patrick Street in Canal Boulevard in Charleston, West Virginia. So, could be, I don't know. But let's let's see if it's genetic. Well, that's not gonna work. It's not loud enough. Y'all can't hear that. We gotta do better than that. Let's turn her up. The speaker's on the other side of the cabinet. Let me see if I can find the volume knob. Found something. Whoo! What a bit loud. All right, I'm gonna t I'm gonna start it. It might be really loud. Watch your ears. <laughs> When you open the door, it opens this little switch and resets it. All right, so we got some volume on it now. Let's play. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of it, people. down because you get more points. And plus, you'll probably get more accurate that way, right?
it's the, the the sounds are made by the formation. So the more of them that are in the formation, the the stronger that is. So once they all come out of formation, it doesn't make the sound anymore. That's pretty cool. All right, so I got. 2,820 points, that's pathetic. So I'm gonna just try to shoot the hell out of everything. It's all the way off the screen. Listen to the, the horde sound. Okay. See, they're all moving now. There's no horde. So there's no background sound. Mm. So now there's one. Seven forty. That's a little better. Let's try one more time. Thank <laughs> you. 
tough game. This is much harder than, Gal than Galaga. <laughs> If you miss, you're screwed because you don't have another shot. All right, 3420. I want to break 5,000 before I stop. <laughs> Controller's a little bit confusing. whenever they come off you really got to go for them because you get so many points these guys So I'm just gonna try to shoot everything on this one instead of timing it. Hopefully I can get over five. All right, I got 4,070. We're going to try it one more time. I don't know if I should wait, if I should try to time it. I don't think I'm good enough to really go slow. I think I just got to try to shoot whatever I can. Thank <laughs> you. 
And I got 2390 on the first board, just kind of shooting everything. <laughs> for whatever the hell that was. If you don't shoot him, look, he's gone. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me. I got 4,980. <sighs> so close, but oh, so far away. All right, folks, so there you go. That's Galaxian, the cool cocktail table version. Whoop! how sweet is that, huh? Look how cool that is. Look at that. Man, that's sweet. Take some of my cocktail beverage here. This is the life. All right, folks, so that's about it for this video. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you think about this thing. That sound thing is so trippy. Now, by the time you see this video, Galaxian may have flown its way off into somebody else's game room. We may not even have this available for sale anymore. But you can see all the games we do have for sale on our website. Go to lionsarcade.com. I might have found a safe spot. Nope. <laughs> Didn't find a safe spot. You can see all the games that we do have available for sale right now on our website. Go to lionsarcade.com. It's always up to date. As soon as we get games done, we put them up on the website. I just put this one up on there. Whenever we sell them, we take them down off the website. So it's always up to date. Go check that out. Now, if you want to see us, you can come by and see us too. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. You can barely. There's nothing going on outside tonight. Uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina, we've got a whole building full of these things, right, for sale. Now, uh, if you can't come by and see us and you don't want to buy one, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube, and every time we do a new video, it'll let you know. So give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film all this for you. Ring the bell, subscribe to us, all that stuff you're supposed to do. But more importantly, leave your comments below. We like hearing, where did you play one of these back in the day? Where did you used to play Galaxian? And is there a person on the planet that used to play Galaxian at the West Side Bowling Alley on Patrick Street and Canal Boulevard in Charleston, West Virginia, in the pool hall in the back? <laughs> if you were there, let us know. We'll see you on the next video.